Hey everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings on the Sister Girl Tarot. And um, I'm going to be giving the readings where we left off. My bad y'all, I have not been feeling good today. Um, <laughs> for some reason my stomach is killing me. Um, it doesn't feel good at all. Um, and my eyes hurt. My eyes have been hurting because I poked myself in the eyelash. Oh, I'm doing my nails over too, so. Uh, I poked myself in the eyelash. Because I was trying to um, do my eyelashes and my eyes irritated me so bad. I just took my eyelashes off and I was trying to take the glue off. And I think I fucked my eyes up. So if I watered throughout the whole video, don't take it personal. Um, I had to have my husband help me because like my eyes were like, you know. I'm not as girly as people think I am. I don't really wear a lot of eyelashes and makeup and stuff. So it's kind of a new concept. Um, but yeah. Alright, so... Natural me will be doing this reading because I don't feel like putting any makeup on today. I'm just not interested. Um, I'm going to kind of push this back a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, I'm. I don't think I'm gonna be interrupted today. I don't think so. And to make sure, I'm going to do some extra shit. I always tell y'all, I gotta block my friends and family because they call me during readings. And I be like, bitch, you know damn well you didn't have to fucking do that. I had to call, I, had to block, I told y'all to block my best friend. She called my phone. And I be like, bitch, I can't talk right now. <clears throat> I tell her, she like, alright. I, I unblocked them later. Alright, so, <laughs> speaking of the devil, let's talk about Capricorn. Capricorn, oh, you're reading. Damn. Ooh, man, you having some arguments with people at your job. The Knight of Swords is like, I ain't saying nothing. Somebody got a motherfucking attitude or someone's a know-it-all or arrogant. The Three of Pentacles, um, yeah. The Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, a lot of arguments with people. People are jealous of you. What's the Three of Pentacles? The lovers could be dealing with a Gemini, the death card, Scorpio, too. Some re work relationship is over. Y'all can't get along because y'all was fucking at the job, or y'all just didn't get along because y'all business partnership. Y'all can't see eye to eye. No one wants to change. What was the Knight of Swords? Somebody's not talking. Too bad. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords could be an air sign. Two air signs not talking to each other. Very interesting. Will of Fortune. Um, yeah, someone's not talking to a woman that they could be working with. They have two bit, two or three businesses or more. And the Wheel of Fortune is like, something didn't work out. Bad fortune. The Ten of Pentacles for our shuffle. So, must have been a multi-million dollar business. Or someone was growing one. Definitely had a falling out with a Libra, Virgo, any fixed sign with the Wheel of Fortune. A uh, Gemini, Taurus. And I want to say Gemini, yeah, Gemini twice, and the Scorpio card. Okay. I had conflict of interest. Okay, so what's going on with Scorpio? Notice I didn't. I Scorpio could be dealing with Scorpio. Uh, Capricorn. Notice I did not shuffle yet. Um, that card kind of pulled up. You're working. This man is working. He's too busy building an empire. Could be a man. What's going on with Cap? Cap. Um, the hangman. Are you? Are you? Is are you inflexible? You just not changing something. You have decided that you have dug your heels in, or you are holding on to a situation too tightly. Instead of dealing with a situation maturely and respectfully and diligently, you are being a pompous asshole, or you're holding on to something. You need to liberate yourself from things and forgive people because it seems as if, if this, the saying goes, if um, Yahweh Shai, Most High, Yahweh's son, Jesus Christ, we know him, if he would die on a cross and be, for, or if you believe that story, and be forgiven for other people's sins or try to teach you how to be right or wrong or right, if you believe in that story, then. Um, Who's to say that you can't you can't forgive someone else for their transgressions would be like the oxymoron of the sentence. But the hangman just always reminds me of someone who's rigid. They're not gonna change. The three of wands in the future either. <laughs> they just who they are. Or and business is stuck, not moving forward. 
So you could be in business with someone and that business is, you have to think about it, revise your plans. Something isn't coming about or you're going to be offered a contract and that motherfucker is going to take you places, but it's not the right contract for you. Emperor, do you hold, if you are a divine masculine that has Aries or Libra placements, or you are a business owner, you are angry at the lack of movement, potential growth. It's because of your materialistic efforts. You cannot see beyond money. You only know, okay, it makes money, do it. It's like, no, you have to like your job. A very respectable reader, then Ghetto Nun gave me a reading one day. She told me that when you do what you love, all the money follows. You won't even know it really pays you well because you would do what you love. So it makes me feel like um, this person isn't doing what they love to do. They just do it because they have a bunch of money. The hangman is kind of like, mm, somebody's not dealing with this situation from a spiritual perspective. It's materialistic. This person can also be angry at someone and they're not in the future and now they're not going to change. The emperor is someone that's unjust. They don't know that they're unjust. It's like a crazy person don't know they're crazy. The emperor is an Aries or a Libra, but they rule with an iron fist and they don't open their heart to anyone else's interpretations. I don't like the emperor. They're a good bad father. Empress, so you got your heart turned against your wife or your girlfriend or your mom. The Empress is a beautiful woman. Notice that the Emperor is reversed. So, ladies, if you're a Capricorn, your husband is an asshole. If you have a father figure, he's a dick. Um, someone is also putting you in a third party. They have you suspended in something. There is a man and woman running a business. This woman knows how to do her shit. This man is like... Like, he's, he's an asshole. He's an arrogant, pompous ass. I don't know how this woman sits next to this man. And she's more further along than he is. He in the past. Like, she's all the way over here. I'm sorry. King of Swords is next. King of Swords is like, she could be ruthless, too. I mean, with dealing with the Emperor, you need the ruthlessness of the fucking King of Swords. The King of Swords doesn't play by your rules. He plays by his rules. Somebody's talking shit, by the way. My ears itched. Uh, they said if you stick your um, finger in your ear, the saliva, the person who's talking shit will feel bad about it in some way later. So someone could be talking shit about you, Capricorn. Could be this woman or it could this man. Could be a man. Capricorn man is angry. He's angry because something's not going a, a, a certain way or something. Is he left some bitch? Somebody, it's a lot of men in here. It could be a third party. I see three people. The hangman, something is not being solved. Someone's rigid. Their, their mindset is so rigid towards an idea or a business working together. This emperor is so controlling and he's mad at this woman and left her. The three of cups, something is not going according to plan as far as a friendship or a party. Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. Huh. Ace of Wands is like delays. Are you angry about a delay in regards to a celebration? I'll wait. You know, I told y'all live by an Air Force base that just sends out millions of um, Air Force um, what's it called? Planes. And they be loud as a motherfucker. Hold on. I'm also getting a little bit of information on Ace of Wands. Something is disappointing or a lack of momentum. It's not, it's a missed opportunity. Someone feels like they don't have to get up and go. They're not excited. Something is wasted. Or someone is wasting something. Some man is mad at some woman wasting something. Or this man, this woman is taking on the King of Swords embodiment and she's ruthless because she's mad at someone wasting something. Someone's too intense. Someone could also lost a baby. They could be angry about that. This man is happy. Why the fuck would this man be happy about a baby? I don't know. 
He's an evil motherfucker anyway. It already said he was a bad daddy. Maybe he wanted an abortion and he got what he wanted. She'll never, she gonna find, no, you know what? No, she gonna find out. My bad. He ain't saying nothing, but it's gonna get out anyway. That's true. My bad. I'm sorry for those who fit that situation. Situation scenario. I'm looking at this Ace of Wands because I'm side eyeing the fuck out of it. Somebody wanted a third party or a threesome. There is some type of sex back, sex, setback in regards to a set, a, some type of sex life. Something was canceled. Or, um, yeah, somebody, this, this man could have been a future partner to you, but you fucked it up. Three of cups, six of wands. So yeah, it could have been an easy slide. Three of cups is friends, celebrations, parties, christening. Six of wands is celebrations, parties, christening, success. Through a water and fire sign cannot combining the water sign, queen of cups. Does someone feel like they lost an opportunity with another bitch? It's too many couples in this reading. None of these motherfuckers except for the emperor and the empress match. They match and the empress is more stable. It could be a Virgo, Libra, or Taurus individual. The Queen of Cups is Leo, um, Leo's uh, Cancer. Someone feels like someone is wasting their time with the Empress. Someone feels like they have to go back to the drawing board. We gonna see. I kind of want to use a different deck because I don't want the cards to... I want them to tell what they're going to say. What's the hangman for this reading? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's not, somebody's going to have to find a way to talk to someone or find a way to land their words. Someone is rigid. They do things the same way all the time and they wonder why they can't get the girl or they wonder why they can't get some of the ground or some business is just not moving because someone is not thinking. Someone needs to take a risk. Eight of Wands is like throwing arrows, seeing what fucking hits. You're not even throwing that bitch. Hangman is, I don't want to throw any arrows. Well, then you're not going to get what you want. Bye, bitch. Thanks for playing. Three of Wands. What is the Three of Wands for the Capricorn reading here? I see this Two of Cups in the world. Somebody wants everything in a woman. Man, too. What's Three of Wands? Oh, that came out. Flu. Six of Cups. Somebody looks into their... Either they're looking into their past and memory lane, but this motherfucker is staring off into the future. So maybe they are looking at soulmate or a connection. The Six of Cups can be a friend. Are you looking into a friend's house or are you spying on a friend? Someone is just waiting. Waiting for a friend of theirs or waiting for a connection. What's the Emperor? The Emperor is the Nine of Swords. Someone is worried or stressed. They don't sleep very well. Hmm. What is the Empress? What is the Empress? The Queen of Wands. Hmm. An Aries or a Pisces. What is the uh, King of Swords? The Temperance. Somebody mad at Sagittarius or a Pisces? Hmm. Now I gotta move now a little bit. Hold on, y'all. This reading got juicy, Capricorn. Okay. Um, what is the Ace of Wands? What is the Ace of Wands for Capricorn? It want two of Wands wants to come out. I'm gonna let it. What's the uh, three of pen uh, three of pentacles? Three of cups. Let me deal with the work situation. The Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So someone lost out on the investment. Hmm. Six of Wands is what I want to look up. Okay. The Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. What is the Queen of Cups? I would not, but that's seen this card come up a little bit. Ten of Swords. I'm going to check that again before I put that down. What is the Queen of Cups? I, I want to make sure it comes up again. That was kind of harsh. It could be an ending of a cycle, but I just want to know. It's not enough cards. I just need one card. Y'all give me like 17 million. What is the Queen of Cups in the Cancer, uh, Capricorn reading? It does like Cancer. 
what is the Queen of Cups and the Capricorn? Okay. Damn it, it went in the deck. What is the Queen of Cups and the Capricorn? I just want one card. Okay, Queen of Cups. Damn. But this bitch is, I don't even know how to take her because I took her sideways. I'm going to put a reverse though. What is the Seven of Swords? So someone, the Queen of Cups is looking at herself. The Seven of Swords. Okay, all the cards had to fall out. I only need one. The Tower. The Tower. But it comes with some shit though. It's a Queen and a King. Hold on. Six of Wands, Success, Two of Cups, A Secret. Three of Wands, Returning Home. Returning Home. High priest, a secret woman. Okay. Someone is going to fuck someone over and return home to their bitch at the end of the day. This is Capricorn reading. Someone's going to fuck over someone and return to their bitch and the swords and not look back the other way. That is the reading. Okay. Let's make sure y'all know. Alright. Okay, uh, underlying the whole reading Capricorn, the Eight of Wands and the Hangman is like someone not talking or doing something different way. We've already went over that. The, somebody is fucking paranoid. The Emperor is fucking sleepless nights and he knows something's coming. The Empress is the Queen of Wands. She cool. She like, mm -hmm, okay, whatever. Somebody's sexy as hell on that throne. They don't give up a, a fuck about nothing. They just chilling. So someone is confident. It's a woman. He was scared of this woman. And he's scared about meeting her, talking to her. The King of Swords and the Tempest card. Someone is angry, but they want to reconcile. Or they want to look at themselves as the reason why things didn't go right. Or they're looking at themselves, or they're trying to combine efforts with a company. And see what works. And not necessarily get new skills, but try to use what you have. Um, the Ace of Wands is indefinite. So someone is ruthlessly, they're definitely in root unroot. Uh, Ruthless. God damn. Can't talk. Yeah, huh, y'all. This Ace of Wands is like disappointing news. Somebody thought they missed an opportunity. I don't see why. Someone feels like they, they can't get what they want. And either you feel like someone told you you couldn't have it or the timing is not right to get it. The two of wands is indecisive, fear of change, fear of the unknown, held back. Someone is holding back. So there could be a Sagittarius that uh, Capricorn or Aquarius holding back from, or the Sag Sagittarius holding back from this King of Swords, and it's pissing him the fuck off that he has to wait. And this person is afraid. They don't want to do nothing. They're indecisive. They stay put. They don't want to be bothered. They think this is a safe situation, so that someone is not leaving. Someone that was worried about this anyway. The two of coins is a business opportunity. Five of cups. Somebody walked away from a business opportunity. Six of wands. Page of cups. Somebody walked away from a proposal. It was burdensome. Something. Someone was excruciatingly annoyed. It was too much pressure. The queen of cups is the queen of cups. Someone that gives too much. She could be emotionally just. She could be a hoe or someone that just gives too much. Or extravagant. Or someone that can't see. They're blind. The seven of swords is coming clean or smarting up and seeing, seeing through some bullshit. Tower is like, nah. So they're ending the naive period. Someone that's in see Samuel Jackson, he ended, he about to kill this bitch. This bitch about to die. So her naiveness is going away. This motherfucker, this somebody knows. Somebody, some the tower is something coming out. That someone is either not intuitive or someone is too giving and loving compassionate or this person the queen of cups can be like a hope she could be a hope for real i want to know what kind of queen of cups is a queen of cups let me take all the cards off the board i don't know how this woman has to do with you but somebody is some man is worried as shit i don't know this woman's confident as hell she ain't worried this man is though mm -mm. i want to know what kind of queen of cups this is what kind of Queen of Cups is this? The Devil and the Three of Swords. Releasing herself from a toxic situation. Something devil's regretting. Some regretting. What is the Devil and the Three of Swords? Ego Capricorn. This is you. 
um, Tower and the Justice card. Someone hurt someone or someone got a divorce. Someone ended something with someone. 